Good morning. Um, Kev from Leeds Harmonica UK, and I'm here on a very dismal, rainy, and cold Tuesday morning in January in Leeds. It is horrible out there today. However, having had a absolutely shocking, stressful, and exhausting December due to life. Um, I'm determined to kick off this new year with a bit more positivity and a bit more harmonicering and uploading more videos which I haven't done for absolutely ages as it takes me a long time and I get vexed and stressed about it. But I've had an idea that should enable me to knock out some videos pretty simply, uh, frequently and um, hopefully usefully. So one of the things I've noticed with the people that I'm teaching is that people struggle with the lick vocabulary. They get stuck in a rut. They are just playing the same thing, staying in their comfort zone. So, excuse me, what I intend to do is just in this series is simply present a lick. Just some blues lick that I've heard that I like or that I think is useful or yeah, I think it's a good one to learn, whatever. I'm going to play it, uh, talk just a little bit about how you can uh, vary it, how you can use it in improvising, with the idea that hopefully after I churn a few of these out, we build, there's a lick library there for you, and then all you need to do is sit and uh, pick the licks you like and learn them. And the only way to learn them is to play them and play them and play them and play them and then the new lick becomes your new comfort zone, right? And you'll find yourself playing that lick loads and then you're going to want to find another lick that's out of your comfort zone and so on and so on. And in that way, you build up your lick vocabulary. Um, so, the idea also is that it gives me a little, it's going to be very informal and uh, it just gives me a little chance to natter on about uh, whatever's going on if I've got things to say about leadsharmonica.uk or harmonicas in general or if I feel that uh, I might have something to vent about <laughs> whatever anyway um, it's, it'll be good for me as a way of keeping me engaged as well so hopefully it'll be useful for you uh, people and also for me. So um, let's move on to the lick. Okay. Four draw bend, four draw natural, three draw, two draw. Oh, sorry, I'm going back down. So I'm doing four draw bend. Four draw natural, four draw bend. Now then, that doesn't sound like much when you play it like that, but this little, uh, it's more of a movement really than, than a lick, because you can vary it in infinite ways. Um, this is so fundamental, and this appears in so much blues harmonica playing, classic blues harmonica playing, um, that it's not even funny. It's a really foundational, uh, lick it works in all sorts of different places um, and it's something you need to know about if you're not aware of it already um, one of the reasons it sounds so good uh, for uh, theory nerds is that we've got the fifth and the flat fifth and the third and the root which is the notes of the chord that we're playing on so right it fits right in it's the notes of the chord well the flat isn't um, but the flat is very bluesy you can also bend the three draw uh, just a just a tiny bit um, to get that blue third and that'll sound even better if you do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a backing track on and I'm going to play this lick in a few different variations um, just so you can see how it fits in and you can start thinking about how you might like to use it. And this is how I'm going to present these these licks. I'm just going to play them. Right? I'm going to play them. I'll play other stuff as well but you'll see as we go. Um, right, the backing track that I've got, which I'll probably be using for, well, um, there's a guy on 
YouTube called MCCD Sessions. I will link to them in the description. Phenomenal backing tracks. Um, he's got loads of them. And this is a blues harp shuffle in E. I've got an A harmonica here. And I've used YouTube to slow down the track to about to 75% uh, slow. Um, just so that we've got a little bit of space so you can hear what's going on. Right, enough waffling. Here comes this lick that I'm on about. Hopefully it's affordable. So if you get a little bit of five in there as well, you just stretch your mouth open, get a little bit of that five in, sounds even better. All right, I'm gonna start varying in now. So that's a trick, I accidentally stopped the recording there for some reason. You take the lick, you play it, you play it and you play it, and you fit it in to the chorus. You find other things that fit around it. I'll probably talk more about how um, you can place licks within, core, with, within improvisations effectively as this uh, little shebang carries on. Uh, but hopefully that was useful um, or informative. It's just one of those licks that it's instant blues harmonica Very very recognizable and It's a very useful thing to have in your toolkit because it can get you out of uh, Sticky situations if you're stuck for something to play it basically always works It's fairly generic obviously. It's not that interesting, but it's fundamental. This is one of the building blocks All right, so I'm really pleased to have done this, to have started this off. Um, I'm hoping that this is gonna be useful for people. Uh, let me know um, if you've got any ideas or suggestions or if there's any particular licks you'd like me to look at maybe. And have yourselves a very healthy and safe new year. And I will catch up with you soon.